What's going on today guys? In this video we are talking about low cloud photography so that you can get a better understanding of what to shoot and how to shoot it when you're under low cloud conditions. Stick around until the end of the video where I give you some tips on how to get really moody contrasty shots that everybody seems to like. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything landscape photography so that I can help you become a better landscape photographer. So the first thing you have to understand is that low clouds produce a nice even blanket of light. It's essentially just a big natural soft box. Overcast skies are special because of the soft and balanced light they produce. The clouds act as a natural diffuser, so the more clouds you have in the sky, the more balanced the light will be. This balanced light will eliminate virtually all shadows and reflections. This is why low cloud photography is a great time for portraits or when you're doing landscape photography. I think it's a great time to explore the kind of intricate and intimate details of the landscape. Perhaps you can zoom in on some just simple tree bark or different textures throughout the landscape. Under low cloud conditions, it's just a great time to explore details around the landscape. Spring is just around the corner and low cloud is a great time for photographing wildflowers. On a bright sunny day, the harsh rays of sunlight blow out the highlights of wildflowers and create some ugly dark shadows. The natural diffuser of the low clouds helps balance the light to eliminate these shadows and cast a soft light on the flowers. So next time you're doing wildflower photography, try to do it on a low cloud or overcast day because it really is uh, just really favorable conditions having that soft balanced light and avoiding those harsh uh, shadows and highlights. Spring is honestly my favorite time, not because the weather's getting warmer and nicer, but because of all the wildflowers. It's so fun finding and hunting for wildflowers. And when you find them, it just feels so good to take pictures of them and it's it's really crazy all the small little things that that live in the landscape that people tend to um, step over or look over completely typically when you're shooting waterfalls or streams you want to shoot at longer shutter speeds to get that nice milky soft look and this is why waterfalls and streams are another great thing to shoot on low cloud days because you might not even have to use filters. If you stop all the way down to like F20 or F18 even, you can probably get your shutter speed to at least half a second. This is why another great thing to photograph on low cloud days is waterfalls in streams. You kind of eliminate the need for filters and again you have that nice well balanced light, that soft light and that's going to help you eliminate those harsh highlights that you might get in the, in the waterfall or bright streams. The biggest thing to stress here is just the nice well balanced soft light. So great things to shoot on low cloud days are wildflowers, streams, waterfalls and anything that you're looking to get details out of. Another great thing you can shoot on low cloud days is actually just the landscape as a whole. You can stick to wider focal lengths and kind of showcase that dark, moody, cloudy look. On low cloud days, I always tend to shoot wider landscape shots and I really try to take advantage of those low clouds. And I'm not afraid to really heavily dodge and burn the clouds to really bring the details of the clouds out and uh, really just showcase the moody atmosphere of the kind of low cloud day. And those moody landscape shots tend to always do really well on social media and everyone seems to like that look nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in the video. I really appreciate your time. If you guys like the video, then give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out in promoting this content, but more importantly, it tells YouTube that you wanna see more content like this. If you guys wanna learn how to become a better landscape photographer or learn anything or entertain anything landscape photography, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. Next time you guys are faced with low clouds, don't be afraid to get out there with your camera. Don't sit back and go, oh, it's such a gloomy, day out I shouldn't go do photography you should always go out with your camera and you should always do photography in any conditions low clouds is no exception so next time you're out there shooting on a low cloudy day keep these tips in mind because I really think they will help you so thanks again for watching the video guys and I uh, hope you have a great day